This is the Grapner MX-20 bound to my Phantom. And just wanted to show you that GPS Addy works and fail safe. And I'll show you how to set it up in a second. Fail safe on switch 8. GPS Addy on 6 7. This is switch 7 on the MX20 for the Phantom. This is the fail safe. You can see it goes into failsafe in all three positions. This is a video on how to hook the uh, MX-20 Grapner up to your A2 or uh, other DJI product. This is a GR24L 12 channel receiver. It's already bound. It connects to the X2 port of the A2. First thing you have to do is set up your input channel receiver type as a PPM in the DJI A2 software. You have to hold down the escape button to go into the telemetry mode. Go into sensing and data view. You might have to push the left and right arrow a few times, but you have to go down here to channel out and set this to sumo 16 or you can set it to sumo 12 it's usually on it's usually on once <laughs> for whatever reason but you have to change this to sum out then you have to change this to 12 or 16 escape out back to your view the next thing you, you have to do after you've chosen your PPM is click on this little gizmo right here and calibrate your sticks. Throttle. Rudder. Tilt. And aileron. They are all mixed up. Obviously this isn't right because when you move the throttle, you move the aileron. You can use map, I believe, but I'm going to do it on the transmitter. Next thing we're going to do is remap our transmitter sticks. Channel 2 goes to 1. Channel 2 goes to 1. Channel 3 goes to 2. Channel one goes to three and channel four goes to four. Now rattle, rudder, aileron are all correct. And we'll calibrate it one more time. Uh, next thing we're gonna look at the rudder. When we move the stick right, it goes left, so we have to reverse that. Same thing with the um, aileron. Reversed. Now right goes right. After the calibration, we have to make sure our channels are correct. I had to reverse A, E, and R. So R, rudder, you push to the right, goes to the right. Obviously, the throttle goes up. Elevator goes up just to the right. Aileron goes to the right when you push the stick to the right. So everything seems to be work fine now. Just a little curious, even though the throttle shows negative 247 after calibration. On the MX-20, it still shows as centered. Now we're going to do control or adjust. Um, Input 5 I use as my orientation control, which I use switch 2. Input 6 I used switch 8 for fail safe. And input 7 
I use switch 67, which is a Z10. Since switch 7 is my GPS, I had to change this to U under base channel map. So when I move channel 7, U moves. I change my settings on this screen, control mode switch, to Addy Addy GPS because that's the way I have it on my NASA and it's been there for years, <laughs> ever since they allowed it. Uh, I've never had a problem with Addy mode, but I have had some with GPS. But now I have to adjust the throws on this switch because obviously it is wrong. So I have to adjust the throws on the switch 6-7. So on control 10 I start at zero, put the switch, which is three way in the middle position. It's on Eddie right now. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure it's like right on the red bar. So let's move it up just a smidgen. Now we move it to Eddie with the GPS, it's in GPS and it's but it's actually reversed, so we actually have to reverse this. Also. This is in the servo adjust menu. We have to go back down to whoop, channel 7 and put 7. Reverse this channel. You just select it and hit the arrow. Reversed. Now we go over and adjust this. Put the switch in the middle. Control 10 or, or channel 6, 7. Just I use this one. Three-way switch. This is negative six, but you can say we can change it. Now it's on Eddy, GPS. You can also, of course, adjust these individually. So that's like right in the middle of the GPS Addy and set 94. I'm going to switch it to the other one. I'm going to make sure it's right in the middle of the Addy, so we're going to change that one too. So we're going to put that on... Right, so it's right in the middle of the Addy, so let's check them. Addy in the middle, GPS. And the values here are minus 6, 91, and 94. Next we go down to free mixers selection. Change this to seven. And just to seven. Maybe the desired switch, which is your failsafe switch, whichever one you chose. I chose eight. And next you have to go over where this little arrow is. And it and enter. If it doesn't show anything, it means your failsafe switch is off. Turn it on. We're going to asymmetric instead of symmetric. Hit enter. We're going to flip the switch to the attitude. And we're going to put it at negative 46. middle and then we're going to change this to negative 50 so well see now the middle is not white or not right but now we have to change change the offset for some reason you have to go back to the other screen and come back to this but I'm not sure why Let's do it again. There we go. You have to go over to set. <laughs> and I have mine on. I have mine on negative forty one percent. And you can see now when I move the GPS switch, 
This is Addy 1, this is Addy 2, this is Failsafe. And with the Failsafe switch off, of course it's an Addy. Failsafe switch on. Second Addy. Failsafe switch on. GPS. Failsafe switch on. And so, mixer. Negative 46%, negative 58%, positive 41%. So you get a weird looking graph, but you can see it's not centered. That's how you, do, how you have to do the offset. So that's how you set up this failsafe on the MX20. I did it on the Phantom, now I've done it on the A2. So, Addy, Addy GPS, RC status lost, even though you can see the switch is moving. See, Addy switch it still says just GPS Addy, but it says RC lost. And that's it. Throttle, rudder, elevator, aileron. Uh, the rest of the switches you can kind of figure out yourself. If you can't, drop me a line. Uh, one other thing, I did uh, map this uh, IOC to channel 5. I just go to channel 5 and go, whoop, oh, there's channel 5. select and there it is it's reversed and then you can see actually it just goes into home lock there's no course lock so basically you just flip uh, IOC and wherever it is if you move the stick towards you it comes towards you so uh, which is good because if it goes over your head and you get confused <laughs> it'll still come towards you if you pull the stick towards you you can always hit fail safe. Sorry about that glare. You can always hit fail safe. But this is, I have it hooked up to switch two. And I just mounted it right on top of the A2 uh, so I could still see the uh, LED lights, status lights on the A2. Next step. Uh, for the next step, I'm going to hook this up so I have. Uh, voltage and altitude telemetry to the grappner.